clouds. They come in all shapes and sizes, from the fair weather cumulus clouds reminiscent of summer to the powerful cumulonimbus that give thunderstorms and severe weather. But clouds are more important than you think. As well as giving us weather, they play a significant part in how much energy enters, leaves and remains in our planet's atmosphere. And the more energy that remains, the hotter Earth gets. 2014 was the UK's warmest year on record, with eight of the ten warmest years occurring since 2002. We often talk about global mean temperature, but no one actually experiences that directly. We experience the weather and the climate in our own location, in the UK or wherever we live. So it's important to understand how the global picture will change, but it's crucial to know how that will affect each region separately. Even if you take the warming back to the basic principles of physics, if you add more heat into the global climate system as a source of energy, it will definitely impact upon the weather that we experience, including clouds where different heights, thickness or ice and water composition can have a warming or cooling effect on Earth's climate. Yet predicting them can be notoriously difficult, especially over longer timescales. Clouds are hard to predict in weather and climate models because they're parameterized. That means that they're calculated based on measurements of air pressure, temperature and humidity through the atmosphere. Incorporating cloud into climate models that look decades into the future continues to be somewhat of a headache for scientists. Some calculations show that clouds have a negative feedback, which means they reduce the warming, and, and others show they have a strong positive feedback, which would enhance the warming. But the consensus is that they'll have a slight positive warming effect in, as we go into this deeper into this century. We're familiar with examples like on the summer's day, if there's clouds, it tends to be colder. And on a winter's night, if there's clouds, then we're unlikely to get a frost. So we can see that clouds sometimes keep us colder, sometimes uh, make us warmer. Satellites are becoming much more powerful than ever before, meaning that images of clouds around our planet are not only becoming more detailed, but also more frequent. But how is this added level of detail helping the uncertainty of the clouds and climate change problem? There's been a revolution in the way that we observe clouds. So there's now instruments on satellites orbiting the Earth which are um, giving us new information on, on clouds all over the planet, telling us what they're made of, how big the particles are in those clouds and how much cloud there is. So they've given us a much better idea of the, um, if you like, the characteristics of clouds across the whole planet. And there's more to the clouds and climate change uncertainty problem than just how much the planet is going to warm. A warming climate is also likely to affect the distribution of clouds around the Earth meaning that regional weather patterns of rainfall could also alter significantly, potentially making some areas more prone to drought and others to flooding. They may innocently drift across the sky on a pleasant summer's day, but clouds play a huge role in regulating the climate of our planet, and understanding how they will change as the atmosphere warms is vital for our future.